So I told him like I want to be known for my ability, not for my craziness. Just bitched about it on Facebook this morning. When did your interest in digital new moon and all that all that stuff? So they've they've taken the craze of ugly is hot and made monster high. If you've tried to find Brad recently, not much, right? Then there was the whole So it's it's quite funny to note that years ago Bobby wasn't even allowed to have a voice. Bobby has never been married to Ken. Ken has always been her boyfriend since like the Barbie, yeah. Yeah. So you guys have come into the right room. This is where the most precious ones are. That's number one. That's my my first uh, 1984 Great Shape Barbie. She was also featured in Toy Story, I mean. The wardrobe is conceptual in the sense that there is a series of dolls called, called the fashion model dolls. You get to dress them up. I mean, that's what dolls are about, right? All the, all the dress up dolls are, are in the wardrobe. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, the, the reason Barbie's got this kind of longevity that we've, we've talked about is the fact that they've moved all the way from, you know, this kind of, this kind of look, the pretty, pretty Barbies, to the new, fancier Barbies. I mean, that's what she looks like now, right? Banking on the trends of things like Twilight and Eclipse and that kind of stuff, the new ugly is beautiful kind of situation. So these are Monster High dolls. And Monster High dolls are daughters of famous monsters. This one's the daughter of Dracula, if I'm not wrong, and this one's the daughter of uh, the Abominable Snowman. Her name is Abby Abominable. Hasbro, for example, has taken Gem and the Holograms, which is from the 80s, and done a whole re re redux of, of what they are. So, Gem and the Holograms, this is as 80s as it gets. You know what I mean? But it's still cool, it's still relevant today. So do you always want to be involved with the, the toy industry? Is that...? Yeah, even the shoes exactly down to 164 pairs. Crazy obsession, mainly. But, no, I, I, I think as a person, I'm very into collections, I'm very into amassing, unfortunately. So, that's how it is. I, I buy one, I try to complete the series. Uh, I, like, I like fashion, I must admit. I like pop culture, I like celebrities, I like that kind of stuff. <coughs> I've also got the ex-girlfriends who get insecure about this kind of stuff because you, you still do get the SMSs with the un, unresolved relationships that go like, I will never be one of these, you know, what's my waistline? Yeah, yeah. No, no, them, but we have HP, HTC, ANZ Bank. I'm sure at this point this is her despite market values fluctuating. So I've got vintage which are more expensive than this, but this is the most I've ever paid for a doll. Uh, about 3,600 Singapore dollars. Uh, she was an auction piece, so asked about the rarest doll. Now, this would be her. She's a Comme des Garçons Barbie, so uh, Comme des Garçons is one of my favorite designers. And uh, she's the rarest because even the collectors don't know about her. She's designed directly by Reikawa Kubo, 